All right, guys. Well, truck says it's 27 degrees, but it's still a little windy. We're in Kansas. Um, it's usually pretty windy. Um, I think the the wind chills like 18 or 20 degrees or something like that. Um, we are we're actually going to work with another lawn company today. Uh, I got a couple buddies that own other lawn companies, and seems like all of us have kind of a little bit different equipment. Um, so we're taking the mini skid. Maybe you can see it back here. We're taking the 725 Vermeer over to uh, Will Mears' job today. He's building some retaining walls out there, and uh, he needs he needs them backfilled. He just he's got a skid loader, a rubber tire skid loader. Um, doesn't have a mini skid. He's thinking about buying one. Demoed a couple of them, and anyways. I was just gonna let you know it's not a bad thing to work with other companies in your same trade um, it, it works out pretty well for us I mean you guys see Corey all the time hear me talking about Corey him and I've worked together for probably 15 years or better um, he you know he he strives and and uh, you know he has abilities in areas that I don't and vice versa um, you know he I, it, there's just different skill sets um, so it's nice you can actually add to your uh, workforce and to your abilities by working with other companies that do you know that do like services but don't do the exact same services uh, perfect for instance Will over here he'll do smaller retaining walls and this is probably one of the bigger walls I think he's set bigger projects just because he doesn't do a lot of the stuff because equipment um but uh he's he's getting into it he just he has more man labor than what we do i kind of buy equipment that's my man labor i buy my man labor instead of instead of hiring it um we just haven't had good luck with employees but anyways i just figure i'd i'd put that out there it's really not a bad thing to work with other companies um we have him do all my spraying anytime i need anything sprayed like turf wise and whatnot he sprays it and then anything area spraying you know like big parking lots or something like that we take the Kubota out and I've got a spray rig for it and I spray all his gravel parking lots because he doesn't have something uh, that works really well at that so uh, it's a good trade-off and then two he does a lot of tree work and stuff like that tree spraying um, so he sprays all my trees because I know nothing about it um, it works out really good so anyways i figured i'd just throw that out there um i do have a new magnet mount i'm kind of excited about got that for christmas um we'll show it when we get the machine set up but um we're on the way to the job site and i'm trying out a new polarized filter today um we'll see if that cleans up our video a little bit and makes a little nicer video for you guys um anyways uh, we'll get to the job site, get the camera set up, and then we'll try to get some pretty good footage today. We'll be back. Alright, so I beat everybody here, I guess. Um, I'm letting the, letting the Vermeer warm up. But I was going to show you my Christmas present from my wife. And I think my daughter both went into it. I'm not sponsored by these guys. It's a noodle brand. I guess maybe you can see my eyes aren't good enough to see that but there's something.com right there um, anyways but what it is is it is a magnet mount and I mean that's pretty strong I mean that's that's kind of cool and then you loosen this and it's a wobble you know it'll wobble around it's hard to do one-handed wobble around or you can do 90 degrees so that's kind of cool and it's a machine you know it's a machine uh, pocket in there to where when you tighten that it actually expands that but anyways I mean it's it's pretty strong it ought to hold it ought to hold the camera that way you know I can put the camera oh, I guess I need to tighten my magnet uh, bang took it out of my hand Anyways, uh, that way I can kind of put it anywhere. I can put it up on the bucket. I can do whatever, and I don't have to have those little sticky mount things everywhere. Uh, and then, because I've got it, I've got my GoPro in that uh, Ulanzi uh, case. I'm gonna idle that back up, let it warm up. Since I've got my uh, 
my GoPro in that Elanzi case, it just screws right onto that quarter 20, and it's got that, that knurled set screw. So we're gonna try it out today and get some other, get some other uh, uh, angles, I guess. We'll go down and look and see what we're doing real quick while we're waiting for his guys. He told me 8.30, it's eight o'clock. I'm usually early and uh, I don't want somebody else waiting on me. And we're trying out a new filter, so let me know if if you like the video quality better, I guess. I got a, uh, a polarized, like a Vivitar polarized, uh, what's called on. Walls look pretty good. See, he needs to backfill all that. He's got a rubber tire skid loader. Um, it's just not, uh, it's not feasible, you know, on this hillside and stuff like that, really, to start messing with stuff like that. But anyways, walls look pretty good. Like I said, we didn't build them. I'm just here to, I'm just here to help him. This wall is going to come up here. He's got his base cut out. And this will be, I guess this will be our access for up here to backfill that. Um, and then, obviously, that kind of sucks. Uh, I wonder if he's got wall block to set base right there so I don't have to backfill. So I don't have to backfill what he's got dug out there. I guess I'm going to have him rob some of the block over there maybe. And have him set this base so I can get through there. Otherwise, I really can't get through there without backfilling that. And I don't want to backfill his wall. So, anyways, but we're going to come in. We'll get the the uh, gravel on it for him and all that. And he's got, I guess he's got drainage. What do we got going on here? Oh, I guess that's drainage from the other one. Oh, he put his drainage underneath. I don't know where, I don't know where that pipe goes. Um, anyways anyways um but that's project at hand we'll put gravel in there around the back side of that um like i said i don't know where i don't know where he's been putting his gravel maybe he's pulling it out of his dump trailer i didn't really see a pile of anything but he's got dirt coming today so we'll backfill it um i think this is going to be a seating wall over here so it'll be roughly you know 16 20 inches above the above your grade um anyways and we'll we'll get rock on the back side of that and get it back filled with dirt that way these people can have a nice elevated terraced backyard instead of just a hill that slopes down but anyways how that's what we'll be doing today we'll just be doing some mini skid work back filling for will and getting him taken care of so i'll wait till the guys get here and see what his plans are on what he's doing hopefully he's getting block in there um huh I mean, if that's all the waste he's got, well, I guess he's he's just doing curves, so he's just got his cuts in his corners. But anyways, not a lot of waste. It's pretty good. Like I said, I don't know where he's put his gravel because uh, they might have been just pulling it out of a dump trailer because I really don't see anything anywhere unless he's really good at cleaning up. <laughs> anyways, the Vermeer's uh, warming up. We'll get it going. I'll get my fancy uh, noodle mount, I guess. I'll get it on the machine and uh get plugged into the charger and and all that stuff so my battery won't die and uh will it and i'm all in the old white truck um and as soon as he gets here we'll get started on on helping him out getting that backfield
All right, we stopped for lunch real quick. But uh, looks like they're blocks back. That's good timing. We've got soil on all the walls down here. Um, I've got some material that I'm gonna put over on the other side. Looks like he's fairly good on dirt in both sides. So I'm probably gonna move some dirt on the other side. But uh, we've got, uh, we've got a lot of rock backfilled back here. We need to move some extra rock back here that they want, I don't know, they wanna put it over here for natural landscaping. We're gonna pull some of that out. But uh, anyways, we'll get back to work moving material. Well, it's getting dark, but they're blowing up blowing the street off but we we ran all but probably uh i don't know two or three yards of dirt we had a total of about 34 and we had a uh, what would we have probably eight or nine maybe 10 tons of 10 tons of uh rock gravel for the back of the wall we got all this backfilled this is all backfilled they got enough dirt in there for that that one there we got this one backfilled with rock all the way or most of the way um sorry they're blowing up the street so it looks like it's foggy but anyways we got this wall entirely backfilled kind of graded off i just rough grade it for them left them a pile so they could finish grade behind that and then that pile there is for that corner um anyways anyway loaded out some they had some concrete debris down there and some trash and debris and stuff over there we loaded it out into will's dump trailer but anyways definitely burning the midnight oil i don't know if that'll show up on camera but all that dust anyways but that was a long day for riding a mini skid any of you guys that run a mini skid you don't want to be on it for eight hours my legs feel like jello um anyways but that was the that was the job of the day and uh, we're supposed to get uh, freezing rain and possibly snow tomorrow and the day after that so that's what we'll be doing i'll show some videos of the mini skid and the mulch bucket loading up salt into this truck we gotta go home and get the spreader in it